Hey Balance Nation, it's Dr. Anthony G. Beck and it is time for a personal video. So, uh, here just a little while ago on Facebook, had a lovely lady, Amy, shout out to Amy, uh, at post a question which will have this video connected to it, of course, you can kind of see where that comes from. But basically it is this, she's actually experiencing one of the things that I have seen countless thousands of people talk to me about, both men and women, primarily women, uh, but here's the, end of the, here's the deal. They'll say, well, I've been eating organic, you know, getting my calories right, doing cardio, working out X amount of days a week, and doing all this other kind of fun stuff, and the scale doesn't move. Well, that's because, plain and simple, when you focus on losing weight instead of gaining health, that's when everything goes to crap. The body holding on to body fat is a byproduct of not having a, a larger state of well-being. It's not because of what most people in society think it is. This is why the weight loss industry is massive. It works to tell people, well, hey, this is going to help you lose weight, have more energy, and have better sex and better sleep. Well, guess what? Those are clinical complaints that the vast majority of people have, and it's all connected to having a crappy metabolic status. Which brings me to the reason why I'm doing this video. Balance Protocol, the 2358 framework, you guys can go back and listen to my podcast and scroll down on Facebook and understand more about that. If you're in Balance Nation and you don't know that, you should go back and do your homework so we can have a reference point. But here's the deal. It emphasizes the fact that everybody has a biochemical individuality and a genetic uniqueness. So homogenized programs that you're doing in the absence of quantified personal clinical data are ultimately going to fail. You cannot expect to apply generalities and homogenistic mindset to your case. You have a unique story. You are a category of one. There's so many things that make you and your metabolism up for what they are. It has to do with your environmental inputs, your air, water, light, sound, EMF, and of course the food. All of those are energy. They all reflect on how the body runs. We're just energetic beings. That's really what it boils down to. We get caught up in calories and macros and supplements and Garcinia Cambogia and, and green coffee bean extract and raspberry ketones and all the stuff of all those little ads and all those bloggers who have all those pictures that titillize you and make you want to click here and never eat these things. You know that little you know, uh, browning banana that says never eat these five things and guess what? That's all programmed. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna break uh, a guy code here and, and and tell you that I know the people who actually place those ads, who actually do the pay per click advertising on Google AdWords to place those, and they've actually wanted me to you know to mail to you guys in my list to send them to those products, and my answer has been no. Now that didn't get always get taken very well, but anyhow. Side note, the deck is stacked against you in the fact of you not knowing how individual and special you are as an individual. So you have to seek to understand what your current status is. If you ever want to go somewhere, you got to plan a trip. Yeah, it's fun to just, you know, hit the road and see what, what life presents to you. But when it comes to your health, you shouldn't have that absence of information. You should have a framework to operate in. Balance protocol is not a way that everybody does. There, in those of my patients, you can give me a little shout out you know, under the video and say, yep, that ain't what it was. You work with Dr. Beck and your mind's gonna be blown away. That's why they call me Dr. Morpheus. You take a little red pill and make a little tumble down a rabbit hole. Because I'm gonna, re I reveal to patients that you have to start looking at yourself as an individual person. What is your unique story? So, Amy, here's the deal. What you should be doing is, is this: not presupposing that red meat is bad. It's actually fantastic for a fast oxidizer. We've known this for decades. You can go back to the work, uh, fantastic book called Nutrition and Your Mind by Dr. George Watson, psychologist and psychiatrist who was, you know, there's a there's a write up in old McCall magazine, remember that, you know, you know pre-Cosmo days. Anyhow, that talked about that it was a game changer. Shout out for my product, Oral IV, OralIV.com. You can check it out. It changes your hydration status. It's an amazing thing. Sorry, I'm a capitalist. What I do. So. The thing is, is George Watson figured out that people had different states of their health 
when it comes to things like schizophrenia and bipolar and depression based upon how they were feeding their bodies, right? Same thing when it comes to nutrients and supplements, right? It depends upon if you are a slow oxidizer, fast oxidizer, but be careful going in doctor Googling uh, those terms because there's a lot of noise and confusion in that info space too. But the point is, is that you need different nutrients at different times from different sources. And here's the other thing. This all changes from season to season, from person to person. What you eat in the winter time, based upon your environment and temperature and light cycles and different things like that, electromagnetic fields, you know, in that particular time, is going to change from coming into the spring versus what you want to do in the summer, right? This is why we see nature growing different things in those different climates and things that are closer to the equator tend to be higher in carbohydrates. You get people that are eating farther away from the equator tend to eat higher fats, right? And blubber and fish and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you take a moment and step out of the normal mindset of what the world is telling you you should be eating and instead go, well, how do they know me? You don't know me. How do they know to tell you what to eat? They don't know what your biochemical individuality is. They don't know the status of your hormones your digestion, your liver, your gallbladder. They don't know what's going on with your exercise, what your environment is, so they can't tell you. Any person that you get information from, including myself, the litmus test of truth is, are they questing to show you and reveal to you how to look at yourself as an individual and how to observe all the things that uniquely make up you, okay? So that's the answer, Amy. You are under the fallacy of the pre- supposition that if you eat organic and then you you avoid gluten and all this other kind of fun stuff and red meat that somehow adding in a whole bunch of cardio right which pushes your mitochondria which are weak already into um, being more frustrated right in other words they only you only have a, a finite amount of energy to rest and repair and to build right so if you keep pushing harder and harder and harder your body's demand now goes up for nutrients, methylation pathways, detoxification, making hormones, building protein, repairing DNA, manufacturing lipids, right? So the harder we push, and the military is really bad for this. They think that everything is fixed by physical training, PT, right? You know, if you, if you feel depressed, you need more PT, right? If you didn't get that promotion, it's because you didn't do enough PT. Well, guess what? When patients start working uh, on program, the first thing I do is, is you don't get to work out. Stop working out. That's the first thing you can do. Now, which is ironic because this is my gym and I'm actually going in with my gym here to actually get a workout in, which I do once a week. That's it. Beck doesn't do workouts three to seven days a week. You know what I do? I play. I get outside and I go throw frisbee and go to the batting cages and play in the beach and uh, chase after my little three-year-old and do fun stuff, play and enjoy and collect electrons. Get your body charged back up by nice fresh air, sunshine, get grounded, play in the grass and watch those simple things make powerful changes in your metabolism. Stop working so hard at losing something and start investing more time through your lens and prism of you in gaining something, and that's well-being. Hopefully that little diatribe makes sense, guys. It's time for me to go get a little sweaty, and if you have any other questions or stuff like that, post them. You know, Be a part of Balanced Nation. I'll, I'll reach out with these videos as much as I possibly can for good stuff because I know a lot of people feel this way. I run into it all the time. So until next time, let's live life in balance.